do for? He tried to pitch us some sneakers. Is he crazy? What's some things you think he'll do uh, day one to fix the economy? Well, all the illegal immigrants send them back. No, no. You're not going to talk over Wait. me and tell me. Look at the food prices. Look, look at the gas price. prices. You know the majority of people here are not from the Bronx? So what's something Trump did to make the economy great? What's up the trick to the economy great? He uh, has a beautiful tax laws. Taxes Fire. for billionaires! No, 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 no. Taxes, tax cuts for billionaires, everyone! <laughs> Hey. He's a rapist and an insurrectionist. He's all of that. He's a racist, rapist. But wait, I thought he did a lot for the black community. What did he do for us? He tried to pitch us some sneakers. Is he crazy? We don't want those sneakers. We don't want his vote. We, he's not getting mine. Nobody wants those sneakers. Nobody, you see anybody with him on? He said that black people like him because because he's a criminal. So by default, we are criminals, so we like criminals. We like, he have a sneakers, we like sneakers, so we like him because of sneakers. If that is not racism, I don't know what racism is. I, mean, I thought uh, Trump did all these great things for the black community. No the fuck he did not. I thought he made the economy great and all that stuff. He didn't, he literally didn't. I'm pretty sure he's only made terrible decisions throughout his entire, his entire presidency. So I have no idea why there are even like people of color coming to this because he doesn't care about it. He treats us like numbers, if anything. You say to all these people here that are like, oh, he made the economy great. I, I wish I had an answer. I wish I had something funny to say. This is very troubling that so many black people, so many Hispanic people, and so many Asian people are showing up here in this crowd. I'm embarrassed more so than anything else that, that, that people in this country are so stupid. In a country of 300 and probably 40 million people, we have 253 million adults plus. We ended up with Trump and Biden. Fair. Right. So I don't know, the education system, something is wrong and we need to burn it down and start over. Do you think a lot of black and Latino people have shown up for Trump today? They are not educated. These are idiots, bro. Like They don't know what's going on. All they heard is Trump. Uh, Trump's giving all a stimulus check, whatever the hell it is. That's why they're here. Most of them don't even know what the hell, why they're even here. Like, it's just stupid. They're all saying that like Trump did so much for the black community. Only thing give Trump. Give me an example. Give me an example. Right the, they the can't only, give me an example. The exactly. only thing, the only thing Trump did was give a stimulus. They've been appalled ever since. It was like who did it? The more police qualified but, immunity, they could beat the shit out of us without nothing. They're literally to blinded by what Trump did with that stimulus. He have not done none. He have not liberated the black and brown community. He have not. He done what every other president have done. They kept us at bay. Ignore. Kept us at a level that we need to level elevate. We're here to try and at least try to convert them over or at least try to expose the, the bullshit that Trump has been bringing to America. Tell me all the things Trump has done to make the economy great. When he was the president? Yeah, what, what did he do to make the economy great? Money was flowing. But what did he do to make the economy great? He pumped, he pumped it into the United States. He, he pumped did, it into the United yeah, you States. Pump, you pump money into the United States. So what has Trump done to make the economy great? Well, when he was president, he gave money to everybody. So, I mean, with this Biden, everything is corrupt. People, people stealing cars, breaking into people's apartments. I mean, like law and order? Yeah. Like what, like what kind? Well, all these people come in illegal, send them back. And you know, have Trump being in charge again, I believe it's gonna get fixed. What's some things you think he'll do uh, day one to fix the economy? Well, all the illegal immigrants, send them back. They gotta get sent back. What's some things that Trump did to make the economy great? What do you mean? What you, what when he was in office, I was making money. Huh? Now the country is dead, the dollar is dead. Biden destroyed this destroyed this country. What are, what are some things that what are some things Trump's gonna do to make the economy great again? The same thing he did when he first came into office. The economy pumped, everybody was making money, everybody's making money. What do you think are some things that Trump's gonna do to make the economy great again? He just has to go back to his own policies. What were his own policies? Well, the, the number one, Joe Biden came in and shut down fuel production. You know, no more drilling. And uh, we all know the oil 
I mean, he I, didn't actually, he did like a record number of drill. I mean, he like expanded a ton of permits. No, he didn't. He shut, it, he shut down the gas pipeline from, from Canada he, that was going to get out like to, one, to Texas. Like Again, this way, the gas prices went up. Just look at the, just look at the obvious. I, obviously, you're on the other side. I can see where you're working this side right now. But just look at the gas prices. Look at the food the prices. Gas prices. No, no. You're not going to talk over Wait. me and tell me. Look at the, the food gas. prices. Look at the gas side. prices. Look at everything. Insurance. What's your business? What, what's your business? I was, I'm a, tra a tradesman. I'm a tunnel worker. And you're, you're making, you have more construction now I'm, jobs. No, now I'm scraping by. No. Yeah. So, like, you know, we need Trump back in so, you know, we could boost these, like, public works projects. Infrastructure. Right. Infrastructure, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Like, because that's the thing. Biden never invested in it. Yeah, he never no. invested in, in did oh, he? No, in, that, in that, that, now it's his big thing because now the election's coming up. Now he's talking about all his infrastructure shit. Biden's been taking credit for Trump's giant infrastructure bill. Right. Yeah. 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 I mean, there's no, there's no question about it. Everything yeah. that they were fighting Trump on, now it's coming back into them because now the election's coming up because they know they destroyed the country and now they're pretending to make Trump's ideas their ideas. Yeah. When you right. Know, like, I, I think the media. You're aligned with the media. Oh, no, 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 because Trump says different falsehoods. Media lies, Trump lies. I mean, well, one way I mean, or like, another, you're still aligned with them, right? When it comes to Trump, well, you're aligned with political Huffington Post, Fox, MSNBC, uh -huh. CNN, all of them. Because they it's, say that Trump's not good. Yeah, they attack Trump. Well, I mean, Fox News goes back and forth. Well, Fox News is major yeah. anti-Trump. Without a doubt. Depending on the host. The, the, the family, Murdoch. Jesse Waters likes. Murdoch family will donate oh. $10 million hey, to Hillary. Hey, we may have to put this on hold. No. Majority of people here are not from the Bronx. A bunch of white people, as you can see, like they're not from the Bronx. You guys oh, so, no, the white people I don't think are from here, but I see a lot of black, Latin. I'm like, and I'm like, and I'm like, they're, right. they're, they're not educated. That's what I'm telling you. They're not educated. They're, they don't really know what's going on, like domestic, uh, international. Like they, they don't really know. They're just here, they're just to come here. Okay, who here wants to tell me how Trump is going to make the economy great again? I've asked a bunch of people. No one's told me how Trump. It's gonna make the economy great again, or what he did to make the economy great. No, 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 hang on. No, hey, no, he's gonna inherit another great economy, like he did from Obama, and he's gonna to continue to ride the wave. Hey, if, if, you're, if you don't like money going to Israel, I'm down with it. What are some things Trump did to help the, to make the economy great? When he he's just listen. What he says, make America great. That's all he's got to say. What, what did he say? Listen, you don't have to be a politician to run this country. It's all about business. All about business. You don't need to be a politician. I own a business. It's business. You trade. I talk to you. You talk to me. It's business. What is, so what did he do when he was president that made the economy great? Made the economy great. Everybody was making money. There was no complaints. Now the world's upside down. We're almost in a third Super. world right now. Um, People setting up shop everywhere on corners, in the streets, selling food, selling this, that. It's not a third world country. Who here hates public education? You hate public education, right? We're going to shut it down when Trump gets gets elected, right? Yeah. Let's get, you wanna, we're gonna, he's going to shut down public education, right? Um, shut down public infrastructure, make our, you know... All this public, all this stupid public infrastructure. What do you think? The guy who spent four years unable to pass an infrastructure bill is going to pass an infrastructure bill. Yes. And that's why we like him and not the guy that passed an infrastructure bill. Yeah, we need to spend this money at home, but apparently also not spend money at home. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. Project yes, from the Democrat. Yes, What's a policy that Trump did that made the economy great? What is a policy that Trump did that made the economy great? Hey, careful, Walter. There, we're in a park. There's a lot of crickets. What is Trump going to do to make the economy great? What you going to do? What? What about the president? What 
What am I gonna do? We're gonna make cheesy online videos and get our money from China through TikTok. Yes. We're gonna take money from China and spend it here on shit we don't need. We're the patriots. People are taking money from Americans and spending it on America? No, take it from China. I mean, that's what Trump does with all of his merch. What is he gonna yes. do to make the economy great? I'm gonna tell you what he's gonna do. He's gonna promote yes. people that are skilled, yes. okay? Not only in business, okay? okay? Okay. But, but in, in trades, of course, he's been involved in those fields, okay. in both the real estate business okay. and the building. And I'm What did he do to make the economy great uh, the, for well, the first, first of time? Well, first of all, he decreased unemployment by 39%. Um, unemployment's lower under Biden. You really think so? I mean, it is. I mean, that, that's not, a, well, that's not like a... You, you better do a physical survey, because I'm a plumber, electrician, Carpenter, I ride these trains daily, yeah. and I can tell you there's more unemployed people now during Biden's era, okay, than there was during Trump's. But that, that's actually not true. That's, that's actually not true. If, if, if you want to visualize it, then you're going to have to come into our neighborhoods yeah. and see the difference. Anecdotes aren't evidence. Huh? Anecdotes yeah, anecdotes, anecdotes, aren't anecdotes aren't evidence. Yeah. So, what's something Trump did to make the economy great? What's up, the trick to the economy great? He uh, has a beautiful tax laws. Taxes Fire. for billionaires! No, 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 no. Taxes, tax cuts for billionaires, everyone! Oh, we got a liberal over here. Tax cuts for billionaires! Yes! Trump oversaw the greatest transfer of your wealth to the 1%. Yes! In history. Billionaire tax cuts. What's, what's something Trump's gonna do to make the economy great? Yeah, okay. Wow. What did Trump do to make the economy great? Biden did it. Everything Biden, okay. I will take one the border. Thing. The border, right. Um, the yeah. border. Because he built the wall. Yes. Right? Which is why we don't have an immigration problem anymore. Because of the oh wall. Oh my God. Yes. Someone show me uh, a video of anyone going over or under or around a wall ever. It's no. never been done. Ever. Yeah. Trump was the best president of all time for immigration. He built a wall that no one could get over, which is why no one is getting into America, because he built the wall, yeah. right? Because, so we, so the immigration problem is made up because he built the wall. Yeah, I mean, Trump, how is it made, how is it made we fixed it. Wait, Trump didn't fix the immigration problem? Either he built the wall, or he didn't do shit. What Trump did last time is he gave billionaires a tax cut and gave us a two year tax break then raised our taxes. You don't know who's not a billionaire here. For the people that aren't billionaires. Their plan was to gut Social Security until they found out that other people could hear them. Trump and his cronies tried to make it harder for black people to vote. And you're, and you're applauding this. That's What's something he did to make the economy great? The economy? Well, he cut a lot of regulations, as you know, which allowed businesses to grow. Uh, also, the tax breaks, as you mentioned, the tax breaks are for billionaires. Yeah, the tax breaks that's for billionaires, yeah, man. The tax F rates for us expired after two years, but didn't expire for the one. Uh, yeah, but you also failed to mention how the tax breaks. Uh, Joe Biden took away the tax breaks yep. that Trump imposed. No, no, no. Uh, no, no. Biden took those away, no, and he could have. He didn't them. have to. The Republicans wrote it so they expired, and then they did. Also, tax breaks for billionaires doesn't create a boon to our economy and never has. All it does is transfer the wealth. It transfers from, your wealth into billionaires' hands. That's no, but, why Trump not only lowered taxes for the billionaires, he lowered it for Why do you make the billionaire I, I, tax I, I, cut realize, permanent and I not our tax cut permanent? Trickle down economics. Which doesn't, Trickle work. Down Which economics. doesn't work. I agree yes. with you. No, thank no, you. No, no, thank you for that. And it didn't work. Thank you. Thank you. That's what Trump did Thank you. Yes, but he gave a tax cut that doesn't expire to the billionaires, right? This is the 28 bill, right? Doesn't expire. Still exists. And then he made our tax cut expire, and then to pay for it, our taxes went up as part of the same bill. Uh, listen, listen, listen. You said, wait, wait, yeah, wait. You said, wait, wait, listen, listen. Listen, listen. listen, listen. Okay. You said he lowered taxes for the billionaires, right? Yes. And you said he lowered taxes for the middle class. When was the last time a Democrat lowered taxes for anyone? Hmm. Let me see. Let's see. Well, I don't know. We can fact check that. Yeah, I know. Obama? When it is, there's been, the yeah, taxes have Obama. gone up and down on like a ton. Obama. Yeah. Oh no, Obama. There's been. And yeah, as you know, and as you know, yeah. taxes fluctuate based on the president you have. If you have a president like Obama, right. who's sending billion, or like now, let's say Joe Biden, the more recent, right. who's sending billions of dollars to Ukraine, we obviously have to raise taxes. Common sense, right? Well, you wait, wait. Four hundred billion dollars on the paycheck protection wait. plan, which just went to the bridge. Yeah, it just went Can to I the finish? bridge. Right. 
We're spending how much billion dollars right now to Ukraine? Right now, what, close to 50? Uh, but a lot of that is okay. going back into American manufacturing, right? We're giving them essentially a loan so they would buy American A loan, a loan, which essentially they don't have to pay back. Well, no, they, they have to pay it back or privatize their natural uh, resources. Uh, yeah. They pay no, back or privatize their natural sometimes they don't resources. Have to. Sometimes they it was have like to. those well, five. It started with, yeah, I mean, do, if you want to talk about the. Not, you know, they might, they, because they, they can not. use the excuse. That right. Russia is still invading them, right? And that's a valid excuse. Right. It's yeah. a valid excuse. So wait, are you? Are you so, so, so if, if, you, if you don't, do you not want? Do you want money to go into Israel? Excuse me. Do you want money to go into Israel? No. Okay. Fantastic. I don't want money, don't want money to go. I, I want right. our money to go to our economy and our borders. I mean. I mean, do you think it should go to our infrastructure? Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. so like Biden, home run, no, right? Biggest no, no, infrastructure no, no, no. bill of all time. What Biden did was the opposite. See, what he did. Wait, the was infrastructure bill? No, no, no. The infrastructure bill. What that did was it basically said that all the states have to pay. For, um, the infrastructure for all around the country instead of being smart and saying that individual space, states should pay for their own infrastructure. Wait, you said, wait, you said no. the same way both That's times. the same thing. You, you see, I did not say that. It's the same thing. No, you accidentally said both the same What did I say? Both. You said the states have to pay for it, but instead the states yeah, have to pay for it. Yeah, the states have to pay for the taxes of the whole nation. Instead, yeah. instead, instead. The states have to pay the, the states, taxes instead, of the whole nation. Listen, yeah. instead of the states paying the taxes for the whole nation, yeah. The states paid their own taxes to build their own infrastructure. You're aware. You're aware. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, that's what I meant. Red right, state, right. well, you know, red well, states, red states get the most funding, federal funding, because they actually contribute the least. The GDP for, like, a GDP for California mm -hmm. is like it dwarfs yeah. everything. Yeah, right, right. And then you have, you need the place. Well, I mean, you need a red state. They don't, they don't do very well. They don't have a high GDP. You need California paying that money into. Like you know, a Iowa it, right? or like, some you know. Do you, how are California citizens living? What? How are California citizens living? It depends how are on California California depends on where you go. No, no, no. Yeah. How are they living? How are they living? It's it's still. I mean, because I mean, a lot of people are fleeing California. Water. Food. No, but no, but no, 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 but, no, but no. Here's the question: If we have an American anywhere in America, should they have clean water, roads that work, bridges that don't collapse? Yes, we don't have that right now. Right, but what if that state doesn't have enough money to do that? Is it okay for the federal government to come in and be like, hey? We're going to support you. We're going to create jobs in your state to provide these services. In that case, it depends what type of services they're providing. Right. A lot of the time, no, but I'm just talking basic infrastructure. Listen, no, no, you don't need to pull. That depends. I got you. That depends what type of services they're providing. Just a lot of times, listen. A lot of times, when the government, federal government, provides yeah. resources, yeah. it's not very well allocated. Look at Israel and Hamas, right? They okay. provide resources for the Palestinian civilians, which I support. Well, yeah. Let's let's not muddy the waters. Let's let's stay on the one topic we're, we're, before we move on to the other topic. I'm, I'm okay. not going to move to that topic. I'm just using an example, okay. right? Sure. Okay. So you have Israel and Hamas, right? We yeah. send money to the civilians. Perfectly fine, sure. right? It is not well allocated. That's why the civilians are not getting the money they need. Ju okay. Likewise, if, if we take all that money yeah. and, and give it to all the, um, the states, like if you say the federal government, you do this, a lot of times it's not well allocated. Okay. That's why it's more better, it's better, right. for states to pay for their own things because they know how to better allocate it. We, like, no, no, I, I, I'll, I, I, give, I'll give you a great example. Great New York, example. Manhattan, and the Bronx, okay? Rich areas of Manhattan, that you know, pay, you know, they pay taxes, they got, you know, they're well funded, yeah. okay? I want that money to not just stay in that little area of Park Avenue, Fifth Avenue, Madison Avenue. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure that the money is spread around through the Bronx. Okay. Right, right. Yeah, so okay. like when you talk about, oh, each state should just keep their own money and be responsible right. for themselves. You know what, if, if states, I don't, if you apply that to everywhere else, it doesn't. It doesn't work because in I want more money going to the Bronx. Well, yeah, like I want. I want. I want like wait, Bronx. Wait, more money for New York? Wouldn't they be sending more money to the Bronx? Yeah. But they. But no, no. But, but he's saying that like it's the same situation, right? If you imagine the boroughs represent the states, it's a metaphor. But if we we're applying it for like you know yeah. federal versus state versus right. municipal versus state, you know all that. So that's yeah. what I'm. That's what I'm saying with regards to that. So if every some of these states don't have the resources. Right, like we, the Democrats did a funding bill to literally fund the police because there's some states and local municipalities that cannot pay if for Democrats, police. I don't understand. If Democrats are doing that, yeah. then why during the BLM protests, why were they shouting defund the police the whole time? Well, they shouted it. Well, no, why, 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 BLM, why, we know what we, BLM wanted, wanted to. And why yeah, they did wanted Kamala to, they didn't. Harris, since, yeah. since they support the police so much, why did Kamala Harris bail out so many BLM protesters that looted and killed Wait. people? It was a great thing. So we did not defund the police. No, 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 no. We, well, doubled. we doubled. We doubled. We yeah, have actually we I mean, doubled their their budgets. I mean, you live in New York. You know yeah, we did. You know, right? we like we've increased the police. Oh, are you? Wait, where are you? I live in North Jersey. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, yeah like we've, we've increased. The budget is $11 billion. It's the only agency that it's, wasn't touched It's, it's went up. We waste and, money and, okay, we listen. Yes. And back to our point with the police. Yeah. If we give a lot of money to the police, right. and then those same Democrat representatives, whatever, senators, right, right restrict the rights that police have to enforce the law. God, I wish they would. Is, is, I wish they would. I wish. I wish. Listen. I wish the Democrats would do half the things you accuse them of. How have they restricted it? Which is what has happened. In what sense? Where? 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 Limited qualified immunity. They They still have qualified immunity. No, there is accountability. A man killed a police officer. Did he go to jail? Callan. He should have gotten the death penalty. He he was already he was already listen. He should have gone to death. But he, he went to jail. Right? He went to jail 21 times and they released him. Give the police the right to arrest people who are already on the street. If if, if I have 21 felonies and right. I'm on the street walking normal, right? Uh-huh. The police should have, a, should have should have a right to come up to me and be like, "You have 21 felonies. Oh, it's or you're gonna commit another felony." You want them to preemptively lock you up if you have 21 felonies? I think you believe that is the thing. Like like don't have the debate because I don't think you yeah. believe that the police should have the un unilateral decision to put someone in jail. That's what yeah. the courts are for. I, I don't think the gentleman's right? saying that. I think what he's saying is returning to the Giuliani policy of stop and frisk, the, stop and frisk, and whatever that permutation. Stop right. and frisk, I mean, stop and frisk, exactly right. stop he's and frisk. Targeted black and brown people. Yeah. yeah, because Tar- black and brown people commit crimes a majority of the time. Why? But, but, listen, but, but why instead? Of, listen, why instead of protecting black communities, as, as you guys are trying to release them to endanger black communities more? Isn't we're not that, to, why are we not trying to release them? Isn't that? Isn't that? No, no, ba- no. Here's a great one. Here's great. You're from New Jersey, right? Yes, I am. Okay. Governor Christie got rid of bail reform like 10 I don't years like ago. No, but, no, but. I don't like I, every Republican. Okay, bail reform. You know Republicans, bail Republicans don't like bail Republicans. reform. They got rid of bail reform. They did the same thing in Jersey 10 years ago. Uh-huh. And, and it's, I don't support And it's for nonviolent. It's for nonviolent um, offenders. Violent, offenders. Like, bail reform isn't so for violence. So for, vi- for like an assault, you, you don't get bail the same way. So it's for if you. You know, if you shoplift or something like that, if it's for it's for very small things, that's what bail reform is. Yeah, I mean, that was what it's for. I, I agree with that. Yeah. You shouldn't have to go and you know right. be locked up at Rikers for a few months while you are awaiting trial and for someone you know stealing twenty dollars worth of stuff from the CVS. Like they should be in Rikers for three months. Oh, that's, so, I mean, think about the whole COVID thing. Think about the whole COVID thing. Right. Well, they wanted everyone here to be wearing masks to get to get vaccinated. Right. Now, all these people are just coming over the border, and they just let them come over to the border. From and, and, and who, not, who, who was president then? Uh, I don't know if Trump was, but not as many people were coming over the border then. Complaining about the Trump years. You you don't like anything this guy has ever done. No, I do. I do. Then name it. You I haven't. Right. Wait, wait, wait. This leftist freak here trying to control your words. Oh, wait. So, so wait. Tell me. Just tell me. Tell me a policy that you like that Trump did. One policy. Do you like grown men in, in little girls' changing rooms? You know, like Planet Fitness and whatnot, because that's what we've got under Biden. Gender ideology. I um, my son's basketball team. Now my son's basketball team. There's a golden retriever playing. It's a golden retriever. Have you? I saw. And I, lost I saw. My community college job because it's nonsense. He's lost. Why'd you lose your community college? Job? Because people don't believe in X and Y chromosomes anymore. Like I have a fucking doctorate, and I lost my my retirement. What did you say? What do you mean? What did I say? What do you mean? Well, would you? Them in court when they let me go for no reason? Oh, what do you think about like the PACT Act, um, Inflation Reduction Act, and those things? I'm okay with all that, but inflation is not reducing. Um, things are across the board more expensive everywhere, and that's because of Biden's policies. So, so what what policy? Okay. Well, so why we don't you why don't you tell me some policies that have worked for us that so Biden right. implemented? If that's you, the game so you no, want to play, saying, why don't you tell me the policies that Biden has implemented that work? There's inflation reduction. Well, you've got grown There's men a- in the girls' restrooms. That works for, for Biden, doesn't it? I mean, he supports being weak abroad. We look like fools. We are complete surrogates to Israel. Are you okay with your daughters? I actually, I actually don't. I, I don't. Do war across the planet somewhere? Here's the difference. What we I'm anti Zionist, but I'm pro Palestine. You're anti Zionist, but it's like anti Jew. So I'm not it's a Jew. I got nothing against the Jewish people. But Zionists are in the. As are you, you pro-Palestine? I, 
I'm, I'm anti-killing people. How about that? Okay? I don't think the Palestinians have a legitimate claim. I mean, what, what, what empire controlled Palestine? What? The Ottoman Empire. Ottoman Empire. Before that, the Byzantine Empire. Before that, the Assyrian Yeah, but they were not living under apartheid. They had access to their own land. They had that's self-determination. Well, that's true. They were Israel not. Israel is an apartheid state that owns the United States Congress. Yeah. yeah. Name me one senator that's not bought and sold for by Israel. Why did Mike Johnson go back against everything that he promised to the GOP and they have millions and millions of more dollars, billions of more dollars? What do you think about Project 2025? I didn't know what, what, Project 2025, it's from the Heritage Foundation, it's all of his, Trump's cabinet members, been talking about what Trump is going to do day one in office to fix this country. He will fix it. He yeah, is. yeah. But you, um, so what do you think, have you heard of Project 2025? I've never heard of it. I'm worried about a nuclear war with the, with Ukraine. I'm not worried about a nuclear war with Israel and Gaza, and I don't oh like. God, so I don't like project what do you, Project 2025. So, do you think we should have less nukes or more nukes? Well, I don't know about the U.S. Yeah. I wish so there was just less the US. nukes. Just all, the U.S. All, all the country, like yeah, there yeah. used to be agreements with Russia and the U.S. and other countries to limit nukes and to verify, trust but verify. And now we're not even, all those are gone. All those agreements are gone. So I think we need to, and I hope Trump does this, to reinstate those agree, those agreements. Project 2025 uh, wants to do the opposite. It wants to uh, end all this counter proliferation. It wants to get more nukes. I, I don't want more nukes. Yeah. I want peace for everybody. Yeah. You know. yeah. I don't know how that's going to happen, though. I don't know anything about Project 2025. It's written by Trump's policy makers in the GOP. It's written by the GOP and Trump's policy team. No, it's their transition. Know. I haven't heard that one. What do you think about abortion? Abortion. I don't think abortion is good. I don't think there should be abortion. You'll I, love Project 2025. They want to just get rid of it completely. I don't Get know, rid of uh, birth control. I don't know. You guys keep talking Project 2025, but I can't really refer to that at all. I know nothing about it. So, okay, I don't know anything about it. I've never heard that. But um, oh my God, you got to read. It's 900 pages, not and it's 900 page thing. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. summarizing what it is. It's yeah. it's Trump's platform, uh -huh. and it's GOP's platform. If they win, if they win, they are going to immediately yeah. execute everyone on death row. Privatize the forest resurface and cut down most of our national parks. You know what? Whatever you Expand. Say, whatever you say, yes. you can say that. I don't know if that's. I, I, I didn't say no, that. They you, said it. I voted Democrat in the past. Yeah. I voted for Obama twice. I voted for Hillary. Yeah. Guess what? I'm voting for Trump now. What, what, He's got, what they, made the, you become Trump, MAGA? Trump has. I, I'm not MAGA. I don't right. subscribe to labels like that, and I kind of look at that as it's become like a slur people are right. using. Right. So I'm not. I'm not doing that. And I know that even the Democratic Party did research to see what word they could use the best to smear uh, Republicans, and it was MAGA. And um, so there was. They did specific research on that. So that's really not cool to use that word. Oh, okay. So um, <laughs> I didn't. MAGA. Uh, it's, it's just a slur. I, I I mean, not, MAGA, MAGA, you're gonna MAGA, tell yeah. us. I did not the radical MAGA. left is going to tell us what words we can and cannot use. I just want you to know that this is the GOP telling in print what they want to do. Well, the GOP, maybe some people in the GOP, maybe some people Trump's in the Democratic uh, Chief of Staff, uh, he, five of his cabinet members. So I think my suspicion is the way that you're framing things is um, highly exaggerated. You know, you can bring up platform 2025, whatever. I'm doing my own research from my own. Where do you get your research? All over the place. I get. I don't know where. Where? Well, let's see. I get it on YouTube. I get it on Twitter. Uh, I get it from um, the New York Times. I get it from Fox News. I get it from um, Tim Pool. I get it from figures. Tim Pool, right wing extremist. Um, I get it from. Um, all kinds of uh, online, you know, different. I'm trying to think of who else I get it from online. Definitely Tucker Carlson, who's, who's wonderful. I love him. Uh, true patriot and American. Oh, Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. Um, okay. I know you guys play all think, ah, right wing, taking, whatever. So, so you're taking their second hand interpretation. This is first hand. This is like. Well, well, there's, there's a literal document called Project 2025. Okay, you can just read it. Documents. No, but it's their black. They put it out. You keep hammering 20, Project 2025. I listen to what the candidates 
are actually saying. Are you aware that in the uh, history of our constitutional republic, sure. never has an incumbent candidate for president yeah. gained votes but somehow lost? Gained Trump, votes. Trump somehow, gained an, yeah. a record 11 million votes by 2020. It's, it, I, mean, I mean, it's true. For a record 74 million, which yeah. is 5 million more than Obama. Yeah, no, no, it's huge. Obama I, got 3.5 million fewer votes in 2012 against Romney, and he still won. But Trump gets 11 million more and somehow loses to this asshole? Well, you have to have more votes than your opponent. The law reads, yeah. upon any credible allegation of fraud credible. or other irregularity. And just when Senator Cruz finished yeah. debating about Arizona, is when the people came in the rotunda carrying old glory and our supposed and politicians dove in fear oh from God. our own flag. Yeah, just because they beat a cop to death with oh the flag. My God, oh my beat God. A cop to death. What, they beat a cop to death. Yeah, see, oh we my don't, God. Yeah, because you don't care you don't about that. Get this, that really happened here? here, here. Yeah, of course that oh, happened. What planet are you living on, bro? Uh, Earth. I've seen a video where someone was trying to climb in a window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard she was at a bake sale. Climb in the window of our building, by the way. You know, there's a balcony yeah. that surrounds the rotunda where we're supposed mm -hmm. to be able to sit and watch lawmakers make our laws. Did you know this? You, you didn't know that, did you? Uh, I mean, no, I've been to the Capitol. It's great. Nobody broke into the Capitol that day. Except for the people who went in through Bro, the window. Those doors were opened. We have it on video. Were those people allowed to be in the building at the time? Or were there signs that said no trespassing? Do I think we have the right to enter our Capitol building? Yes, I do, as a U.S. citizen. Can I go into the library at 2 a.m.? Let me ask you. Can I go into the library at 2 a.m.? It's closed then. Oh, it's closed, so I can't. It's closed. The Capitol was closed to the public. Well, that was what they did. That doesn't mean it should be. But you don't understand how you're just deciding what's right and wrong based on what serves your position. Doesn't any of this rattle you, the fact that, like, no evidence? They say they have evidence. They say they have evidence. never comes out. Have you heard of the documentary called 2,000 Mules? Yes, I have. have I've seen it. Have you watched it? Yeah, Probably. I have. You have? Yes. What did you think of that? I thought it was kind of lazy and... You know, I'm politically charged. I think that they didn't really look at any real evidence or you, facts. How did the FBI yeah. know who to go after in the wake of January 6th? We were there January 6th. How did the FBI know after that how to go out around the country and right. find people who were there that day? What technology was used? Uh, cell phones, because Correct. as we, we were there, they were, they were taking selfies of themselves. Correct. Who makes the election laws in each state? It depends on the state. Each state's legislature shall have, this is in our Constitution, plenary, that means ultimate. Each state's legislature shall have plenary power over the type and disposition of the elections in their states. And it's got to be standardized. So, for example, which they don't do, here in the Bronx, we might have electronic machines. Right. But Long Island's doing something else. Yeah. That's actually all illegal. Well, all of that is illegal. There's no such thing also as early voting. It's, it's Election, illegal if you make up the idea that they don't have the authority to pass the laws that they passed, but they did so, it like... for example, in Pennsylvania, yeah. right. the court said if the ballot comes in by 5 o'clock Friday, we'll count it. Right. Election day was Tuesday. But if it was postmarked before the election... There's no but if. Bro, no, that is what they're saying. If it was postmarked, you understand that that's what the law was, right? you ever right? heard of an absentee ballot? Oh, yeah. Who created absentee balloting? Congress? Abraham Lincoln, oh. so that our Union soldiers who were off in the South fighting the pro-slavery Democrat Confederacy could vote. And that's illegal. No. But no, because the, the, pres the president did it and not the state legislature. You said if the state legislature did it, it's illegal. So created Lincoln created the concept the of absentee ballot. Right, which is illegal. So, I'm just trying to string two so, thoughts, two okay. consecutive so thoughts that, together in a way that what, makes so them you're consistent. you to say the whole concept is illegal. No, I'm at, absentee ballot. you're saying that. You said that the only legal thing is the state legislature. They didn't do that in that case, so it's illegal. So let's let's backtrack a little. Or is it legal? Wait, wait no, I'm, what legal? I'm trying to figure out. Do you think Abraham Lincoln was legal in creating absentee ballots? Yes, yes or no? I just want to understand. I what believe you're it was done under legal authority. Yes. Great, but it's illegal for an executive to do that today for mail-in ballots. So it is quite possible, not being a lawyer, right. laws change in between. Them. That's that's okay. a possibility. What the what the fuck happened today, man? Oh my god, it was it was actually it was actually crazy going in. I mean, I've never been to one of these Trump events before. Oh, welcome. And uh, yeah, I come in and it's just conspiracy theories right away. Like you're hit with January 6th, and then you know just everything. And I feel one of the craziest things that I found was for me like 
all of these people here, when they're in like their regular, like everyday lives, they're normal people. Like they're still hardcore conservatives, but they're normal people. Yeah. Here, it's like they get sucked into a cult and it's just their whole persona changes. Oh, yeah. It's like this whole like mob ideology that just takes them over. Yeah. And I've never seen people worship one man the way that they, this whole group has worshiped them today. I was, it's, talking to, I was talking to Peter about this, but it's scary the degree to which he's worshipped. I, like, I don't think any politician, a, a public servant, I don't should think, be yeah, worshipped I'm glad, that degree. I'm I, glad progressives came out and like witnessed it, because I've been witnessing this for the past several years. I spoke to a, a high school teacher. She was a very sweet lady. We talked for on the line for a, a while, and so I always think like, like she's such a nice person, and like the, the soul behind her is very different from this kind of political v vision that's being put out there and so she told me she uh, skipped her parent-teacher conferences to come here like that that much devotion you know so it's, it's very interesting to see I think yeah. it's probably for the best that she didn't talk to parents if she's a super hardcore MAGA person yeah. But, yeah. just keep her away from most people <laughs> yeah, but I think I think though it's like it, and I, I like to try to separate the person and and like oh, their, yeah. I mean it's still a human yeah. at the end of the day yeah it's, it's terrifying yeah it's like it's just disappointing yeah no I, Can I, you get I your name? Because we're gonna dox oh, I you. I don't represent <laughs> anybody, but uh, <laughs> we're gonna dox here, you for hating Israel. <laughs> your name? Uh, my name is Landon Castell. I work with a grassroots organization called Red to Blue. Um, our goal is working in state politics, mainly right now this election cycle in Pennsylvania. We look at the state level, the state house right now, where we're trying to flip GOP-controlled districts into uh, Democrat districts. And last election cycle, we did worked in Virginia, and we're very excited what we have. Time. Yeah. Wait, with uh, what do you mean? A lot of Democratic candidates. I'm just I want to pull out my hair with their shitty messaging sometimes. Yeah, that that's one thing that actually drives me crazy too. I find that with Democrats, the messaging, especially to young people, has been so ineffective. I mean, and they're not you, very unified. Yeah. They're not very unified. There's no like message they're really driving, you know? Yeah. And the, it's just... Like, yeah. Like, and, yeah. And that's why, that's why when you feel, when you get someone, like, though, they think, like, someone in, like, the squad, it's like, oh, well, everyone must hate them the way I hate them. Meanwhile, in their own district, they're, like, fine. People yeah. really like them because yeah. they, like, stand for something. Yeah. Yeah. But I think, like, if you look at the way Republicans are messaging, they're all very in sync. They're all saying the same few talking points they're they're getting that out there and people can repeat the same few bullet points with democrats i don't know that the same can be said you know like there are general views but yeah. it's i think if democrats can say like get get their messaging out in a more pointed manner it'll help it's a lot yeah, more yeah. Just, yeah they can't just like ride off the we're not trump yeah it's been, that's been going on for you know like too long yeah and one one of the things that actually drives me crazy is that in a lot of my meetings, like we are having meetings over whether we should leave voicemails or not during phone bankings. While here, it seems like the messaging is just so effective and it just frustrates me so much. Like, why can't Democrats get their act together when it comes to this? Because these people that are at these rallies are passionate, passion that I've never seen before. I mean, there was one guy that I was speaking to who said that this was, a, without a doubt, the greatest day of his life coming to this rally. And I'm sorry. It's really sad. It is. I'm sorry. But seeing a, a political figure, seeing him for two hours should not be the greatest moment of your I, I think, day. I think, like, as progressives, we're like, we shouldn't want to, like, like these people. We're just like, oh, I like them until I, until I don't. You know, I really like Bernie Sanders. There's points when I'm just like, I've wanted to, like, throw things and yell at him. I do really like him until I Cornel don't West? like him. Cornel. I like Cornell West. He doesn't have a campaign. He's not pulling any numbers, but I really like him personally. I know he, he does he does it's him. About education. I'd love I would about. love to interview Cornell West. Can you get in touch? Can I can I'm on the campaign. I would I need your information. Yes please. Here give him give him my information. The thing that shocked me the most and I believe I have the recording on my phone was that when Trump was uh, talking about all the illegal immigrants and how that's a huge issue to New York, 
he pretty much, he said to the crowd, like, you know what I should do with the immigrants? And someone yells, shoot them. And I'm like, whoa. He said, send them back. There's a chance, send them back. Nobody wants to send anybody back, but you have no choice. This is not sustainable by any country, right? This is not sustainable. But we had Mexico, and we went to Mexico, and we the president of Mexico. Good man, by the way. Very good. We do this at every rally. Someone, well, someone it's, yelled yeah, yeah, I have that on video, too. There's no it was central show insane. Yeah. For, yeah. A lot of people, they come to this for, like, a sense of community. And like, and, like, I almost feel like I'm going to, like, a concert of a famous musician. People are like, what's your favorite album? What's this? It seems like people are really trying to connect through this. Yeah. And it's it seems like... I don't know, like, it's, it's, um, it's like a social thing more than a political thing. And I think these ideas they latch onto aren't so much about the ideas themselves. It's more this sense of, like, bonding they get.